Hey everybody, welcome to TYT Sports, together with uh, Rotowire, bringing you a look at some of the prop bets uh, for the divisional playoffs. These are always uh, fun. Chris List, managing editor of Rotowire, Ben Mankiewicz. So, uh, most rushing yards uh, in the divisional playoffs, both Saturday and Sunday. Not surprisingly, a two to one. Demarco Murray, your favorite. Then Lynch, Lacey, C.J. Anderson, a little attractive at five to one. Then some of the longer odds, Jonathan Stewart at ten to one. Forsett at ten to one. Uh, Russell Wilson in there at fourteen to one. And Dan Heron. Uh, at uh, 20 to 1. Uh, anything jump out at you there? I mean, you know, Murray's the best chance, but 2 to 1 is just not worth it. Not worth it, right? It's not a good. It's not, I think CJ Anderson at 5 to 1 is legit. I, I feel like, look, there's only four games, right? You're getting 5 to 1. I mean, there's only one guy per game. Right. I mean, you know, I guess Heron could be the guy, but it's very. I unlikely. like Forsett at 14 to 1. That strikes me as possible. There's the possibility of him breaking a big one. Um, You'd like him at fourteen to one, but unfortunately they're only offering ten to one. Oh well, then I'm out. It's Russell <laughs> Wilson at fourteen to one. All right. Yeah. Well, I still like Forsett, but I guess yeah, you're probably right. C.J. Anderson's probably the way to go there. Yeah, I mean, I, especially I would, given the conservatism of Fox. That's what I mean. Right. Once they get that lead, he will want to run, and he'll run C.J. Anderson. Yeah. I, the other ones, yeah. Forsett, I don't mind at ten. You're right that that's the other guy I would think about. I did like it much better at fourteen. To fourteen one. is a little better than ten. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at uh, receiving yards. There are more guys here. Uh, most receiving yards over the weekend. Uh, Demarius Thomas, the leader, at uh, uh, just a shade over three to one. Uh, Jordy Nelson, uh, five and a half to one. Uh, then Dez, T. Y. Hilton, Randall Cobb, Gronkowski, only at seven to one. Sanders, seven and a half. Everybody really bunched up there until the bottom, uh, where you get Torrey Smith at fourteen to one. Kelvin Benjamin, that's a crazy, insane bet. You're just giving money away. And uh, Doug Baldwin at eighteen to one. Yeah, I kind of like Des Bryant at six to one. Yeah, I like him um, too. That's you know, I, and I like I like T. Y. Hilton too because there are a lot of yards that could come in that comeback. I'm just a little worried about the uh, you know the Chris Harris factor um, because he's been such a shutdown corner this year. Pro Football Focus made him. Their Maybe he'll one be one. on Hakeem Nix. Uh, he could be. <laughs> yeah. no, I mean, it could be Talib who is a little more beatable, but they're yeah. both good. Uh, yeah, I like uh, I like that. I don't mind Randall Cobb either, just because again, there's some big you know. Yeah. Some, Randall Cobb sometimes has 140 yards on three catches. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but I think Des Bryant is the is the way to go. And Jordy that. Nelson, actually, I would go Bryant and Nelson. Yeah, don't get misled because the odds are basically the same. Jordy Nelson's five and a half to one, and Des Bryant's six. To I'd one. put a little a little on equal amount of each of those guys. All right, I like that. I like that way of thinking. Okay, then there are a couple of individual prop bets. We're going to just pick, uh, obviously, your, whatever site you use probably has a lot of them. But uh, Joe Flacco, uh, one of the guys we're looking at, 255 and a half yards over or under. In general with these, if you look at them in bulk, I think you should always take the unders in these. They're always spiked up. Everybody wants to bet the over, so that's always going to raise that number a little bit. It is tough to bet the under in these things. Um that said, I think I like the over and for Flacco. I think I like the over. The only problem with him, they get so many pass interference calls. You know, they lead the league in pass interference. Is that right? No, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's like, and those don't count. Those, those are, yeah, it's annoying, that's right. you know? Uh, so, so, yeah, but I would, I, I'd go. I may uh, go slightly over. 262. I'm yeah, uh, and Brady, 275 and a half. You know, it's hard to bet Brady under, but I would definitely bet Brady under. I think they're running the ball really effectively. Yeah, it's a tough run, D. I probably go under, but I don't. I don't I'd be leaving it alone. I'm more likely to yeah. bet Flacco over and leave Me Brady too. alone. Me too. Cam Newton. These are a couple of interesting ones. We have Cam Newton total rushing yards, 35 and a half. What do you think? It's just a game flow thing, and how how I think I'm probably go over on that. I think I would too. I would go with too. I just he's going to be under pressure, under he's pressure, and he'll play. run. And I think he'll be quicker to run because he'll he'll know we got to make some play. Right. Uh, and then the other guy, the, his opponent in that game, Russell Wilson, 45 and a half yards. I had Wilson, I think, in week 16, maybe week 17, but I think week 16, over a number like that. I think it was 42 and a half yards, and I bet him, and he had nothing through the first quarter, not one. And then from their own eight, I don't know if you remember this play, he gained 50 yards on one play. It was fantastic. That, <laughs> right. That's the great way to right. win it. Right. Uh, so uh, what do you think, Wilson, 45 and a half? I think over. I yeah. think Carolina's D is going to be good, and he's going to have to escape. Uh, that's that's interesting. That's right. If they if he can't throw and and the great thing about Wilson, if you bet that, is that if it's not there, he didn't waste a lot of time. He doesn't see it. He's, he'll tuck it right. and he'll and, run. And there's a lot of design runs too with him. That's right. That's right. All right, Chris. Yep. Thank you very much. Sure. Uh, uh, good luck, Sunday. Yeah, too. And Saturday.